I think it's important at this point in time to talk to our members specifically about two uh, points of our business, and that is how is agency first established and how we do that in Utah. And, and just as a way of helping our members know that there's a little bit of uniqueness in the things that we've been doing in Utah for years and that it's still actually not done in every state in the United States of America. And so there, there's been this, this room for this concern amongst other practitioners. And I want to give our, our members the assurance to know uh, why we have had these practices in place for, for years now. And so I want to talk uh, about agency and compensation. And so if we could, let's go ahead and start off with agency. How is agency established for uh, a realtor that's going to represent a seller that's going to receive a compensation and an agreement to act on their behalf? And, and maybe we'll just start there and then I'll, I'll go further. Yeah, no, I, I get really excited about the forms and the contracts and uh, representation because in Utah, there are specific fiduciary duties that you owe to a seller when you represent them. And the, the, the clearest way to establish agency is through express agency, um, which would be in writing. And so the UAR, we offer our members, and, and many of our members use this form, is the exclusive right to sell listing agreement. Um, the second paragraph in that form talks about compensation. It makes it explicitly clear what is the total compensation the seller is going to pay the listing broker. Um, and it makes it very clear, when does the listing broker earn that commission? And then further in our form, and this, this may be unique, I haven't seen other states' forms, but it makes it explicitly clear what portion of the listing broker's commission, and I say that very explicitly, the listing broker's commission that they're receiving from the seller, what portion of that are they going to be offering on the MLS? Okay, And so they're sharing their commission. But it's the listing broker's commission that they're receiving from the seller that they're offering to share on the multiple listing service. And so it makes it really clear in that form um, because not only does it show that amount that's being shared, but it also has the seller initial that section um, to show that they, they've consented to that. And, and this is, again, part of the allegation from the lawsuit, so going back to that, it makes it explicitly, explicitly clear that commissions are not set. They're not fixed. They're negotiable between the seller and the brokerage, depending on the services that are being rendered. So there is no price fixing. There is no set fee. It's whatever the seller and the listing brokerage have come to an agreement. In addition, they have come to an agreement as to what is going to be offered to a buyer's brokerage on the MLS. So, so that I think Utah is in a, in a good spot with regards to its forms is that it, it makes it so clear to the consumer as to what they owe when it comes to you know, obtaining those services on behalf of the, of the listing broker. That's great. 